Yo, yo, I'm Jake Chris, and today I'm going to be talking about Onision. And uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit ill right now. I don't have access to my equipment, but I thought this video needed to come out because I, I, I saw this and it fucking... Look. Okay, so a lot of you probably know who Onision is. If you don't know who he is, you'll know after this video. Basically, he's a huge YouTuber on the site and uh, used to be one of my, my biggest inspirations and uh, I'm sure he probably was for a lot of other YouTubers as well. And uh, in the last two years... As he's been getting more personal with with his YouTube and he's become less funny, uh, his comedy's gone a bit dry. So he's had to rely on sort of the the whole honest YouTuber game and trying to get views that way. And I I don't really like the real him. Um, it's kind of scary. It's a bit fucking weird. And I think this video that he uploaded yesterday kind of proves that. And I wanted to fucking record my my response to this as as quickly as I fucking could. Yeah, it's up right now, but it's got like the most awful like to dislike ratio you'll ever see ever. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this this fucking thing. Um, the, the video is called "Our Relationship Is Over," and it's not it's fucking clickbait as fuck, and it's just uh, him talking about how he doesn't like weed and stuff like that. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, you, you'll see. Hello, I'm hoping to have a decently productive conversation, one way, unfortunately, about marijuana and relationships. Both my wife and I have been in relationships in the past where we were against marijuana use, and they were pro marijuana use so you have a difference on opinion fucking crazy mate <laughs> where they would smoke pot we would get upset by it why and in many situations we would break up with those individuals and a lot of you may think you know what's wrong with pot pot's not a big deal yeah, it's a it's a medicine. It's recognized medicine like around the world. Pretty pretty mad. That's what a lot of people say, and in many ways that's true. Pot from multiple perspectives could be accurately perceived as pretty harmless. Because it scientifically has been proven that it is. This depends on the scenarios, the legalities, etc. But to focus on that is missing the point. If someone says in a relationship that I don't want you to ride a certain brand of bikes anymore, or I don't want you to drink a certain kind of juice anymore, because from my perspective, it harms our relationship for some reason, or it does something other else that's destructive. No, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. You're a fucking crazy person, mate. <laughs> like, you don't ask a partner to stop fucking doing something because you don't like it. Like, you don't change somebody for you, for your personal fucking benefit. You fucking creep. Whether it be towards their feelings, their finances, whatever. If someone says this, you're probably not going to care, especially if your relationship is on the line. If I'm supposed to give up a certain brand of something because it's too expensive for us to afford or because it hurts my significant other's feelings, it just makes them uncomfortable, I don't care. It's fine. There are other ways to enjoy bikes. Other brands. There are other juices to enjoy. N no, mate. No. You, you know, like if somebody doesn't want you to do something, you don't just go like, oh, I really like that thing. Uh... Well, I'm just gonna fucking do it. Like, no, you work out the problem. You work out the problem, and if it can't be worked out, you break the fuck up. Like, you don't, you don't change somebody for your gain. But with pot, it seems like people are unwilling to compromise. Because it's a medicine. Because people use it as a medicine. And a lot of people are willing to lie about it for the sake of continuing to use pot. Yeah, because... If you don't like it, and they use it as a medicine, they're going to still use it and lie to you. In a relationship I was in before, one of the first meaningful relationships in my life, I asked this girl not to smoke pot because it made her different than how I preferred. Oh, so you preferred her one way, but she preferred herself the other way. 
So you break up. You don't change that person. What are you fucking retarded? What? But you, don't, you don't change the other person. I liked her personality exactly the way it was. I didn't want her to be chill or whatever. I just wanted her to be in her natural state. I would have felt the same way about head meds. I'm, I'm sure there are people who think the same way the other way around about you. Like, I'm sure she probably thought, oh, I smoke and I like Greg while, while he's sober, but maybe I would prefer him while he's high. Should I, should I fucking make him high so I prefer that, but he wouldn't like it? No! You're not the fucking center of the universe, you fucking control freak. Bipolar medication or whatever you want to call it, especially when she didn't have any disorder, but was diagnosed with one. At least from my perspective, she didn't have a disorder. Just because you don't think somebody has a disorder doesn't mean they don't have a disorder. Of course, that was probably an uneducated perspective. Yes. But I still felt a life without drugs, a life where you're trying to deal with your issues head on without any chemical influence. If it's possible, you should do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, that'd be sick. So, you know all those diabetes patients, yeah, who have to take their insulin? How about they just live a life without drugs and they they don't have an influence from them, you know? They, they live in their natural state. They would die. They have a horrible quality of life. If somebody has a medicine which they use or even if they want to put a substance in their body which they feel like makes them happier, what? What's, what's, what's any difference? Like, what's the, what's the difference between one medicine and another medicine? Like, oh, so what, what about if you fucking, like, go to hospital and have to fucking, you know, you, you have to get surgery? Oh, no, no, I'm drugs free. So, like, don't give me any, any anesthetic or anything like that. Just fucking cut me the fuck open. Because otherwise, you're just doing drugs the rest of your life. Anyway. So we'd break up with these individuals. Not so much because they did pot but because they would lie to us about it and because they would show that they clearly prioritize pot more than us. That's not because of, of weed. That's because of you. I can totally see why somebody would... If, okay, so right now, yeah, if, if me seeing you as you're being honest right now and that's you as a person, if I had a joint in my hand and then a phone in the other and on my phone it said, call from Greg... And then miss call, oh, Greg says I'll come out today. And then on the other hand, I have a joint of some pretty dank weed and a lighter. I'm going to fucking choose the joint. Like, because I, I wouldn't want to be friends with you. They probably don't even want to be friends with you. Now, if someone tells me not to ride that certain brand of bike, or they tell me not to drink that certain juice, and they say that they'll break up with me, if I do... Then you break up with them. You don't change somebody for you. You find somebody who's compatible with you. That's why relationships take time. That's why it takes a long time to fucking get in a relationship with someone. I don't have to understand why. And they could explain themselves, which would be great. But if they just say it really hurts my feelings or makes me uncomfortable or whatever, fine. I love you. I'm going to stop riding that goddamn bike brand. No, no. So, so, so your mind, you think this can happen. Um, somebody sat there, yeah, and you're, you're with your boyfriend and girlfriend, and they're like, oh, you riding that bike brand makes me uncomfortable. Oh, that's, that's, that's my favourite brand of bike. Like, I, I love that. That's what I've always ridden my whole life. Oh, no, I would, um, I would prefer for you to stop riding that bike. I'd be like, all right, well, I'm going to get the fuck out of here because you're a fucking crazy cunt. I'm going to stop drinking that certain kind of juice because it's not so important to me that I'm going to destroy a relationship. And yes, you are also risking destroying a relationship by saying you're going to break up with me if I use these things. But at the same time, you may have very good reasons. And it's not even that important to me. So I'm not going to throw down over it. I'm not going to make a big issue over it. It's not like you're asking me to stop driving cars to get to work that I have to walk from now on. It's not like you're significantly impeding my normal daily functions. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're telling somebody to stop taking their medicine. Like, uh, what? Just because, oh, okay, so um, in my mind, 
because oh yeah, if you asked me to to stop driving my car, oh that that's too far. I don't love you enough to stop driving my car, but I do love you enough to stop riding a certain brand of bike. But people would repeatedly prioritize both my wife and I after they prioritize pot. Because you're fucking crazy. They would go get high and then they would act like it never happened. Yeah, that's because that's how medicine works. Like you don't, when you take some paracetamol for your pain, you don't, you don't go, oh, oh, yeah, mate, oh, yeah, we just fucking did some paracetamol, oh, no, you, you, you're back normal, because that's how it is, because it's a fucking medicine, you fucking weirdo, like, what, what the fuck? And maybe some cases, people tell the truth eventually. But the point is that they initially prioritized a substance over human beings. And this isn't a relationship that I would consider to be productive that I would consider to be beneficial for either person. Not in the realm of honesty or in the realm of people being their true selves. Relationships shouldn't necessarily be about one person telling another person what they can and can't do. That, that's literally the opposite of what a relationship should be about. If, if any part of your relationship is about telling your other partner what they can and can't do, you're fucking crazy. You're a control freak. Like, you're, what the fuck? It should be about that person automatically doing what comes naturally to them. I swear to fuck, I thought you were about to say it's about automatically doing what that person tells you to do. Like, holy fuck, I thought that's what you were about to say. And the other person being okay with it because they're truly compatible. Now, this is an idealistic perspective to have regarding relationships. No, that's how relationships are supposed to be. That's how they are. That's that anyone I know who's in a relationship and they've been in a relationship for like an actual healthy relationship. That's how it is. They're compatible. They don't tell each other what to fucking do. But some people would consider that a healthy perspective to have. Everyone would call that a healthy perspective. Considering it implies that you're more compatible with each other without having to change each other. That's what a relationship is. You don't, you don't change each other. What the fuck is going on in your head? Now I have my problems. My wife has her problems. But those are issues that we can work on. A drug addiction... And when I say addiction, I mean something that you are willing to destroy your relationship over. That's not what an addiction is, mate. That's not, that's not what an addiction is. That is something that should not happen. You should be in a relationship with somebody who does drugs like you do. Yeah, yeah, you should. So you don't change them. You don't, you don't see somebody be like, you do drugs. So I'm going to change you so you don't do drugs so you can be in a relationship with me. You should be in a relationship with someone who's okay with that behavior. Criminals, if it's a crime to do whatever drug you're doing, should be with other criminals. And people who do not commit crimes should be with people who do not commit crimes. So why have you just made a whole video saying how you, you've tried to change people and shit like this and how, how a relationship is about fucking changing people and how, how Pot does all this when, when no, you don't like it. So, so, like it's the same with, with an Xbox. Like if you're not an Xbox player and your boyfriend or girlfriend is a fucking heavy ass Xbox player who like goes ham every day, you're not going to like it. You're not going to make them change. You just don't fucking be in a relationship with them. That's got nothing to do with it being weed. That's just, that's just you not liking something they do. If you're not compatible, you don't change them. Why? Because we deserve who we are. We deserve to be with people like ourselves. And yes, sometimes you can be attracted to someone so much or you could bond with someone so much that you want to make it work out regardless. No, no, you don't change people. It, you don't change people for your personal fucking gain. But you're setting yourself up for failure, considering the fact that you have this conflict that seems to be irreparable. They are completely intolerant of something that you prioritize, a drug, over people. So they're essentially intolerant of who you are. Yeah, they're not just... it has nothing to do with the drug. If they prefer smoking weed over you, that's because they don't like you! 
Like, I have tons of friends who, if they called me up, I'd be like, and I had a joint in my hand, and then they called me up and were like, hey, do you want to hang out? I'd be like, holy fuck, I'm going to go fucking run out of there. They're, they're available right now. Shit, I haven't seen them in ages or something like that. But, like, you're, you're you. You're fucking, you're a creep. Uh, anyone would rather smoke a fucking joint than be with you. So what I'm saying in this video is not that pot is absolutely horrible and everyone who does pot are terrible people. Because that's, that's not true. A lot of my family members who I love smoke pot and it's legal in my state, so they're not criminals. What I'm saying in this video is that if you're with somebody who smokes pot despite you asking them not to smoke pot, you probably deserve to be with somebody who's willing to love you more than a drug. No, you don't change people. You don't, I don't know how I can fucking express myself enough. Like, that's not what a relationship is about. Like, it's not about if, like, oh, the amount somebody loves you is based on whether they'll change for you. No, that's not what, that's not what it is. And to that pot smoker, you should probably be with somebody who loves to smoke drugs like you do. No, if I, I have tons of people, I've, I've even been in relationships with people myself who don't smoke. Like, I, I have tons of friends who don't smoke. Like, because it's a medicine, mate. Like, if they, they don't have to smoke to be tolerant of it. I don't think, like, Greg doesn't seem to understand this, yeah? Like, to be tolerant of smoking weed, you don't have to smoke. You can be okay with people smoking weed and not smoke yourself. Because that way you can go on smoking pot the rest of your life, blowing money on drugs, without anyone telling you not to do what you're obviously addicted to doing. No, mate. No, mate. Cannabis is not physically addictive. It's been scientifically proven it's not physically addictive. Anything in this world is addictive normally. Like, you can, you can get addicted to fucking biting your nails, but that's a psychological addiction. That's nothing to do with it being a drug. That's the same way anyone can get addicted to being playing on an Xbox. Like, if you know people who fucking smoke weed all day and they prefer to do that, let them fucking do that because it's their hobby. The same way if someone likes playing an Xbox all day and they like spending all their money on games and on Xbox, let them fucking do it. Who the fuck cares? Like, what? And then it's also medicine costs money, mate. Like you can't go down to your pharmacy and be like, all right, so um, yeah, can you just give me my diabetes medicine for free? Like, no, you have to fucking, you have to pay for it. You can't just get medicine for free unless you're like on, on certain like benefits and stuff. And even then, like, you're not gonna get weed on that for free. And I, again, I say you're addicted because with all of my experience, I've seen person after person after person swear up and down that they don't wanna do pot or that they won't do pot and yet those people just keep going back again and again, smoking pot. That's probably because they actually do want to continue it, and they just tell you that, so you don't go like this on them. <laughs> because they don't want that, they'd rather just be like, oh yeah, I don't want to smoke pot, and I, I don't, I'm not going to do it anymore. And then you catch them, and then you fucking go like this, and they don't want you to just go like that. If They're just going to be like, oh yeah, actually I do want to continue doing it, you know, I don't want to not stop. Like, that's why. That's, that's why. They say I can quit any time and then they wind up smoking it again. Actions speak louder than words. It is my firm position that pot is addictive, just like porn is addictive. Just like anything is addictive, like Xbox, like you can get addicted to that fucking anything, but that doesn't mean everyone who smokes weed is addicted to it. Like, what, what does that mean? Like, like, do you think people who play Xbox, or everyone who plays Xbox are addicted to it because there's like a few fucking individuals who are addicted to it. What, what about the legitimate medical patients who have to use it every day? Like myself, when I have my prescription, which is for three times a day, and occasionally I have to have more because I'm supposed to smoke as and when my anxiety comes on. Like, what What about what about that? Like, I, like, I, I don't pri prioritize it over people. Are you fucking, are you crazy? Something that you say you can quit or will quit, but wind up doing again and again, it's probably something you're addicted to. No, they're lying to you. They're lying to. They don't want to stop. They're just. I, I've. I've already fucking said that. I've, I've. Yeah. And a lot of people watching this video are nodding their heads, agreeing with me. No, mate. That's why you have so many dislikes. Because they have met individuals just like the people I'm describing. If there are similar people, they're probably just as intolerant as you are. 
And that's why people lie to them and say, oh, yeah, actually, I don't smoke or I'm not going to smoke anymore. And then suddenly you catch them smoking and you go nuts because they, they don't want to tell you that they like smoking. Same thing when, when, when teenagers smoke. They, they don't tell their parents they smoke, do they? They go, oh, I'm trying to quit. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Like, they don't say, oh, actually, I enjoy fucking smoking, do they? Right, okay, so the rest of this video, he just got, like, it's literally like a minute left of his video, and he just repeats himself over and over again, and really can't be fucking bothered to go over all of my points once again. And I think, to be fair, I think I've done a pretty fucking good job of roasting this cunt. The friggin' Onision, the cuck boy, uh, has been roasted by Drew, well, he hasn't really been roasted, he's been fucking schooled. He's been schooled by Drew Gilchrist, you fucking cunt. This guy is literally the prime example of this is what a fucking control freak is so if you want to know what type of person you should like what type of man you shouldn't be in a relationship with it's this guy this is the type of person who they won't physically abuse you but they will mentally abuse you like they will he, he will fuck with your head to the point where you will want to fucking kill yourself like he like do not fucking any i don't even understand how laney fucking deals with this kind maybe she's just as fucking socio actually no she is fucking mentally ill isn't she she's supposed to be fucking absolutely fucked in the head as well so i'm guessing that's how they get along nicely together um right if you enjoyed this video normally i don't record with uh, a webcam i normally record on my actual camera if you want to watch any of my other videos you can go do that uh, subscribe down below that would be awesome we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers literally should be the next two weeks or something maybe the next 20 days and then we'll hit it that'll be so insane i've got some really insane videos planned for for that 100k video um sweet i, d I don't know i uh if, if sorry if, uh, as i said at the beginning i was a fan of onishon as well i've been a fan of his actual comedy content uh but, but now that i know how he is as a person i I'm not a fan. I don't like him. I've unsubscribed from every channel of, of his. I've, I fucking I hate him. Like I'm sure most of the people who watch my videos as well probably share the same opinion as me. So uh, share this video around if you want to share it on Facebook and Twitter and all that. You can add me on Snapchat, add me on all my social media. All of that shit will be in the description. And leave me a comment saying what you think of this and, and thumbs up and all that shit. I think I hold myself out enough. <laughs> um, and I don't I don't have herpes by the way. I, I like I have a cold. I have I've been breathing through my mouth. I've got really chapped lips. I... Where you am I?